Hello, welcome back to another Mother Children's video. This is the Grounded Bug World Cup, and today is Group F, which contains the Orb Weaver Moth, Mantis, and Ladybug Lava. It's not as good as the last round, but it's going to be good anyway. Starting our first match up with the Moth versus the Mantis. I have a funny feeling the Mantis is going to win this group hands down because he's like the best boss. And yes, yes, this is another arena. It's nothing too special. It's just a little bit colorful, you know give the World Cup a bit of vibrance and also I spent ages making the other arena and because it's not a natural floor the bugs some of the bugs are having a very difficult time moving around on it so we have this one so moth versus mantis says go now they're attacking each other but the moth sort of the moth sort of not really bothered now so I'm hoping he can reach him he should be able to there we go he's knocked him down he's knocked the moth down finally we have them fighting each other it's very very difficult um I guess some of you guys don't realize this it's very, very difficult to get the flying insects to actually fight. Obviously, they have wings, uh, open top. They just disappear and fly up there. There is no way, no fucking way is he locking onto me. Like, I don't know if you can see me, the tiny little dot over there. What is wrong with you? How are you locking onto me? There we go. I'm like over the other side of the map now. So he should, he should, I just teleport myself somewhere random. So he should, he should be good. But it's funny. He might give, he might actually give the mantis a bit of a, um, a bit of a match here. Because obviously he can dodge all of his attacks. Well, <laughs> most of his attacks. You know, his wings, his wings should be. And his screams. His screams. Oh god, the screams. But yeah, as long as he tries to dodge the main attack and doesn't get caught like that, <laughs> he should be alright. I'm not being funny. If the Broodmother and similar sort of creatures with a lot of health can't beat the Mantis, I highly, highly doubt the Moth is going to. As much as I would love... Fuck! He's knocked him out. He's knocked him out. Nice. What are you doing back there? <laughs> no! Ass attack! Oh, I'd be so frustrated if I was the Mantis right now. Even that. Even your jump attack. You can't reach... It. Oh. There we go. The Mantis, uh, unsurprisingly, is on three points now. We'll probably end it on nine points. And the Moth is on zero. But that does not mean that the Moth is not going through because there are more matches to play. Following up with the Orb Weaver versus the Ladybird Lava which should be interesting, but I think the Ladybird Lava might have this, although it's smaller. Here we go. Who do you have your money on? Who do you have your money on? See, you would like to think, coming into this as a noob, um, although I'm a veteran pro at this point, just a very bad one. Uh, I'm a veteran pro. I lost all my limbs. I lost all my limbs, so I'm, I'm pretty useless at this point, but knowledgeable, and that's all that matters. Um, and I'm not knowledgeable either. But anyway, uh, <laughs> coming into this as a noob, you'd think, you know, maybe the spider would get it, the orb weaver would get it, but I'm, I've am i got my money on the ladybird lava. He's an aggressive little fucker, he is. He's so aggressive. There we go. There we go. Point proven, point proven. This little fucker is on three points as well. He's joint first. Congratulations. Next matchup is going to be the moth versus the orb weaver. I'm pretty sure that's going to go the moth. We'll see anyway. Look at this. Oh, shit. Fuck, I forgot about that. He's like fucking Spider-Man. <laughs> I forgot he can shoot webs. Oh, that, that adds a bit of difference to it. He can stop the uh, moth in its tracks. I mean, he can't really do any damage because there's no way he's reaching that, but it's pretty cool when he shoots his webs. That was fucking cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, yay, he did it again. <laughs> it's so fucking useless though, because he's out. He can't attack. He's knocked out already. Oh, does look a bit dodgy when, when he starts shooting his webs. But um, we'll let him off. He missed again. Look at the jizz going everywhere. It's mad that they can just float in midair like that. Look at them just floating there. Ah, oh, He's dead. Moff has won that one, so he is on three points as well. Three points, three points, and three points. We have three joint firsts at the moment. At the moment. But that does not mean it's going to stay like that because now we have two joint leaders going up against each other. The Mantis versus the Lava. Here we go. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. He didn't last long at all. I literally, I literally spawned him in, jumped out of the ring, switched into camera, turned around and he just one shot him instantly. All right. That lasted long. Congratulations, Mantis. You win this one. <laughs> Right, we're gonna put him. We're gonna put him up against the Orb Weaver now. But I'm pretty sure the Mantis is going for all nine points, regardless. Straight into the next one. Straight in there. He's knocked him out already. How long will this one last? One of the OG creatures. Not very long, I imagine, because this guy is an absolute beast. Got a uh, jizz on him. Do the jizz attack. That'll stop him. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear God, no. Right, all his matches are up, and he's on nine points. Congratulations, Mantis. 
very very unsurprisingly like I said you have gone through so let's go on to the final fight which is between the moth and the lava which should be an interesting one they are both on three points they're joint second place so the winner of this is going to go through and the loser is going to be knocked out now this is going to be an interesting one uh but I can only really see it going for the moth just because he is a new cre how are you hearing from there he is a new creature new creatures genuinely are better and have more health attack stuff like that but, like I said, he's aggressive, he's, he's quick, he's nimble, so when he does come down, he's going to get in some quick attacks, like there, you can see. Uh, but he has wings, and he's very, very small. And I'm pretty sure he has, like, some sort of ranged attack from off, like this dust does some damage as well. Um, there you go, he's knocked out already. I feel bad, because I quite like the Ladybird Lava. He's quite, he's quite cool. He could pull it out of the bag. He could. See? He's getting some... Where are you off? I think he I think he might be nearly dead yeah right that made sense I wondered why he was running away he went into like complete survival mode there right so as it stands well as it stands this is how it's going to end so this is how it's how it is going to stand so orb weaver on zero because it's shit uh, the ladybird lava on three moth on six sending him through in second place along with the mantis that is on nine Thank you for watching. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed already, maybe think about subscribing. Check out some of our content. We do have a content. There are more videos. There are more videos of this. There are previous videos of the group stages. There are better group stages than this, better bug battles. So go and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more of these, go watch our other content if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoyed. But until next time, goodbye.